What are crypto assets and why should you care? Part two, crypto assets as an investment. Although the environment is changing rapidly and not all observers agree, it is possible to distinguish at least four types of crypto assets. Cryptocurrencies intended to function as a means of payment similar to traditional currencies an example would be Bitcoin. Platform tokens used within a platform ecosystem as part of its broader functionality. An example would be Ethereum. Utility tokens used as a form of payment for a service within an ecosystem. An example would be Filecoin. Security tokens used to represent an ownership stake in a real world asset acts like a traditional security with the added features of crypto assets. An example is Aspen coin. So as indicated, crypto assets are designed for multiple purposes. Security tokens, for example, function like any other security, e.g. traditional stock, but use cryptography and distributed ledgers for transactions and record keeping. However, a growing number of people treat crypto assets as an investment class in their own right, with inherent value and the capacity for long-term appreciation. The most well-known example of this is Bitcoin, which some view as digital gold, excuse me, digital gold. They see Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation, a store of value and a hedge against volatility in other asset classes. Despite the enthusiasm of some market sectors, there are many questions about the viability of crypto assets as an asset class. Lack of regulation. Although regulators are increasingly scrutinizing the crypto asset space, for the most part, these instruments remain largely unregulated. For example, most crypto exchanges, which facilitate buying and selling crypto assets using regular currency, are entirely unregulated and notoriously opaque. This creates risk factors for unsophisticated investors, and indeed even for sophisticated investors, and for financial advisors who could face censure if they advise clients to invest through risky, unregulated crypto trading platforms. Volatility. Many crypto assets are thinly traded, and academics have shown that in many cases, their pricing is vulnerable to manipulation. As a result, most crypto asset prices are highly volatile. This makes them inappropriate for conservative clients with low risk tolerances. Correlation. One argument in favor of crypto assets is that they act as a hedge against volatility in other assets. Bitcoin proponents, for example, argue that Bitcoin may serve as a hedge against market volatility in the same way that gold does. However, between October 15, excuse me, October 2015 and October 2020, the correlation between Bitcoin prices and the S&P 500 index was over 0.8. This suggests that Bitcoin responds to the same market pressures and sentiments as equities, making it a poor hedging instrument. Security vulnerabilities. Like all assets, crypto assets are subject to security vulnerabilities. Crypto exchanges have frequently been hacked. In 2019 alone, Almost 300 million of crypto assets were stolen from various exchanges along with user logins. While bank thefts are also common, government insurance plans cover losses in those cases. In the case of crypto assets, insurance is scarce and losses tend to be permanent. 
Similarly, many crypto asset owners have permanently lost their assets when they have lost access to their encrypted wallets. As noted, crypto assets determine ownership cryptographically. So a lost private key, similar to a password, means the permanent loss of any assets secured with that key. These and other issues make crypto assets a risky proposition for all, but the most informed, sophisticated, and tech-savvy investors. Looking ahead, mainstream activity. Despite the various risks associated with crypto assets and the rapidly changing nature of the industry, many big banks are becoming more active in this space, although their support is not without caveats. Goldman Sachs, for example, expressed enthusiasm for crypto assets early on. Then, in early 2020, the investment bank held an investor call in which it stated that crypto assets should not be considered an asset class. Later in the year, however, it appeared to again reverse course, appointing a global head of digital assets and exploring the development of its own digital coin. At present, most big banks are taking a cautious wait-and-see approach to crypto assets, although many are interested in the possibilities of blockchain technology and in the use of digital tokens to facilitate international payments. Without the wholesale embrace of major financial institutions and regulators, crypto investing will remain a relatively risky proposition. However, as the technology matures and the financial system adapts, new investment opportunities will likely emerge. Advisors would be well advised to watch this space. Self-key comprehensive list of cryptocurrency exchange hacks, February 2020.